Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to the latest reports, India and Japan will work together to introduce robotics and artificial intelligence in the defense sector, which will prove as the next level of strategic cooperation between the two Asian partners. Japan's State Minister for Foreign Affairs has said that Japan and India will increase strategic bilateral cooperation and will jointly develop unmanned ground vehicles and robotics. India has now begun the final contract negotiations with Russia for the 39,000 crore rupees acquisition of S-400 Triumph Air Defense Systems, which have a range of 400 kilometers. India wants to conclude the major deal in 2018 with the first S-400 system, along with its associated management system of command post, launchers and radars, slated for delivery after two years of signing of contract. After extensive field trials, the final commercial negotiation comes at a time when China starts to get deliveries of six batteries of S-400 under a $3 billion deal, which was signed in 2014. With long-range radars, it can track 100 to 300 targets simultaneously at different ranges. The defense minister have simplified the make do procedure, which is a framework for defense firms to develop and build defense equipments as per requirement of the armed forces. This initiative by the Ministry of Defense is being welcomed by small private defense firms. Also, the make one procedure is aimed at expensive projects like the future infantry combat vehicle. In contrast, the Make Do procedure is an industry funded initiative for small projects that do not incur a heavy development cost. It allows the small private companies to develop equipment whose requirement has been publicly stated by the armed forces. The Tejas light combat aircraft required by the Indian Air Force is going ahead, but the naval version of the aircraft seems to be grounded. The two naval prototypes have been taken off in eight months. Indian Navy chief has backed the naval version of the Tejas Mark II, which will have a more powerful engine. But, as the Mark I is effectively grounded, the Mark II's development is also stopped. This is because many systems essential for the naval Mark II are being designed and tested on the Mark I prototypes. This can result in a serious setback for the Navy, which urgently requires the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft for INS Vikrant, as it will join the fleet in 2020, and it is designed to operate the MiG-29K and the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft. The trial of the capabilities of Light Combat Helicopter is going on at Pokhran Field Firing Range. According to information from reliable sources, the strike capabilities of LCH is being tested from different heights. The trial has been going on from last one week, under desert conditions. The initial tests on a compact power system have been successful, which was designed to sustain a long duration of NASA's human mission on Mars. The tests were conducted in the U.S. state of Nevada, and a full power test is scheduled for March 2018. NASA is pushing on testing a key energy source that could literally empower human crews on the inhospitable surface of Mars.